Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Q&A video. This is actually the very first time that I filmed a Q&A video. So excuse me if I'm a little bit off or if I don't know how to do it. But I had asked you guys a while ago to see if you were interested in me filming a Q&A. I just feel like it's just a fun way for you guys to get to know me on a more personal level because I usually film makeup tutorials and reviews and things like that and I don't ever really sit down and talk to you guys just because I don't know I just I'm weird like that I guess so today I wanted to film this Q&A for you guys I told you to ask me any questions it didn't matter what so I have them on my phone and I'm just gonna read them off of here and then yeah we can go ahead and get started so I didn't write any of your guys' names down and I don't know why I didn't do that. So again, I'm sorry, it's my first time. But let's go ahead and get started with the question. So question number one is, what is your ethnicity? Um, both of my parents, my mom and my dad, are both from uh, Mexico City or Mexico. Um, my mom actually lives in Mexico at this moment. <clears throat> She lives in a city called Torreon, Coahuila. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, um, but that's where she's from. And um, she was actually born in Durango, but she lives there and so does my dad. So anyway, I am Mexican to answer the question. Mexican-American, I guess. I was born in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Next question is, what powders do you set with? And the ones that I've been using recently is the Rimmel Stay Mattes uh, powder the balm sexy mama powder and the air spun loose powder this is the one that i'm wearing today and i love it because it's full coverage so those are the three powders that i'm currently using to set pretty much my whole face third question is how do you get the confidence to wear bold colors and i love this question honestly i i'm just that type of person that i really don't care what anybody thinks of how i look um i feel like the older that you get, the less you give a shit about what people say, excuse my language. But I don't know, I think even growing up or as I was getting into makeup, I was always gravitated more towards colors. I just, I don't know, I just really like bright colors and I'm never embarrassed to wear them. I honestly can pick bright colors over neutrals any day. I just love bright colors. As you can see my makeup is a little bright today, but I don't mind it. I love it. So... I I mean to answer that question I really just I don't care what people say and just wear what makes you feel comfortable next question is how do you know what colors go with your skin tone um, honestly I love Pinterest and Pinterest has a lot of good guidance as to you know what colors go with your skin tone things like that for me I am darker complexion and I feel like bright colors suit my skin the most. Not every color, but some colors like greens and purples. I feel like those are the colors that I stay towards. And another thing about knowing what colors go with your skin tone is trying. I mean, everything is trial and error. If you wear something and you don't like it, guess what? You can just take it off and change into something else or same with your makeup. So yeah, I think it's just a learning process as well. What is your favorite drugstore brands? My favorite drugstore brands, and even though this isn't sold at every drugstore, I love NYX Cosmetics. That is my absolute favorite uh, drugstore, drugstore brands because they just have a large variety of items they have a lot of amazing eyeshadows they have really good foundations they have powders they have uh, now you know those brow pomades the brow pencils they have for your lips they have blushes they have highlighters they have everything and NYX is really high quality and sometimes your prices can be a little too much for drugstore but NYX is just my absolute favorite so the next question is, what's your name, how old are you, and how old were you when you first got into makeup? So my name is Karina. I'm pretty sure maybe not a lot of people know this because my YouTube name is OMG Lashes. Um, but yeah, my name is Karina. How old are you? I am 25 years old. I turned 25 on March 11th. And how old were you when you first got into makeup? Um... I've always kind of been into makeup, but 
but when I actually started really experimenting like with colors and all that stuff um I don't know I think I was around maybe around 16 17 mas o menos I mean it's it's kind of a mix because I would wear makeup and then I stopped for a whole year wearing eyeshadow and then I got into it again and then I started wearing it so I would say to call it for sure I would say around 16 17 and um, the next question is the list list of vacation spots to visit um, I would just name to five top of my head um, I would love 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 to go one day to um, Rome or Italy it just looks like a, such an amazing place um, I know everybody says this but I really would love to go to Paris Paris London it just looks so so pretty um, as weird as it sounds I would love to visit Seattle Washington it's just oh, it's a gorgeous city and a Grey's Anatomy film there so duh I want to go there uh, the fourth city that I would want to go is to Chicago my boyfriend is from Chicago so I mean that could be a little bit easier to travel and the fifth place that I would want to go to I would want to go somewhere like exotic like the Bahamas or just something really really nice Jamaica something like that the next question is what is the one makeup product you cannot live without oh that's hard I would have to say anything that has to do with my eyebrows I just feel like eyebrows make such a difference in your face sometimes I won't wear makeup or I will just like curl my eyelashes and just apply a little bit of mascara and I'll fill in my eyebrows just a tad bit and I feel like it makes the world of a difference so that is the one product that I could not live without is a brow pencil and it would have to be the next micro brow pencil next question is um, what kind of lashes do you always keep in your makeup collection um, the eyelashes that I've noticed that I've repurchased and I will forever keep in my makeup collection are Coco lashes and the style goddess these are the ones that I'm wearing right now I love these ever since I discovered well I didn't discover them I saw them because luster Lux talked about them she raved about them and she has gorgeous eyes and I tried them on myself and I just I love them they are so pretty and like wispy so goddess lashes by the brand Coco the next pregunta is what are your favorite long wearing mascaras and eyeliner for eyeliner I would have to say is the NYC liquid eyeliner that is my holy grail eyeliner nothing has ever topped it off I mean I honestly haven't even tried anything just because I love it so much but the NYC liquid eyeliner is the most long wearing it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today I just love it it's it's really dark and black and it dries to a matte finish which I love now as far as mascara I'm not a huge fan of mascaras just because I'm always wearing falsies but the one mascara that I truly love is Benefit's um, the Roller Lash Mascara. That's the one that I've been using for a couple of months and I absolutely love it. Another mascara that I just live for is this one right here. This one is actually from Mexico. I got it last year. I know that maybe some stores, in, some stores here in the U.S. sell some. I'm not sure where. But this is called Super Lash. And... This is by the brand Apple, and this contains almendra, which is almond oil, which is really good for your eyelashes. So that mascara is amazing. If you're looking for something to keep your curl, that is it. Next question is, what made you decide to do YouTube? So let me tell you this story, and I'm going to try not to ramble too much. So I've always wanted to do YouTube and again it was because makeup has always just been a really big passion of mine and um, I remember years ago maybe four or five years ago I don't remember how long it has, it's been I would watch YouTube so so much and my sister she's like you should film a video but at that moment I didn't have a camera I had nothing we had this tiny little camera that was like really ghetto and I remember I filmed myself um, I think it was like a copper type of look, but I never uploaded it to YouTube. I didn't have a computer, I didn't have internet, so I just left it there and I just never did anything after that. So I just, I, I never thought of actually getting 
on YouTube to do videos. And honestly, long story short, I guess, <laughs> my boyfriend is the one that just pushed me to pursue my dreams. He's the one that got me my camera, he's got me my lights. Half of the makeup that I have, I owe it to him because he buys me everything. He's really supportive when it comes to me doing this. He just really wanted me to follow my dreams. So I guess I would say that I started YouTube because my boyfriend just really pushed me to do it and because I wanted to share my knowledge with other people. Now this next question is in Spanish, so I'm going to read it in Spanish. It says, ¿Has encontrado un producto favorito especialmente para las arrugas? So it just says if I found a specific product that has worked for my wrinkles. And honestly, I haven't haven't found the product that I've noticed that oh, it just takes all my wrinkles away. I will always keep searching until I find something. But no, I still have not found anything. Now the next question is, where are you from? Are you fluent in Spanish? And if so, would you ever, consi would you ever consider doing videos in Spanish? So I am from Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is like really close. It's like borderline to El Paso, Texas. Um, so that is where I'm from. And are you fluent in Spanish? Yes, I am. I speak Spanish pretty much on a daily basis. Spanish is actually my first language. And I speak a lot of Spanish because I have a two-year-old and you know how they have little sponges in their brains. So I want her to be able to grow up speaking both Spanish and English because I just think it's such a benefit to be bilingual. So yeah, I am fluent in Spanish and um, maybe down the road I would consider doing videos in Spanish. Um, I don't think my Spanish is the best. I mean, it's good. But it's kind of like ghetto Spanish, like Spanglish. But maybe, I mean, you know, I could practice it and maybe we can make some videos in Spanish. And the last question that I'm going to answer, or the last question that I have here is, who inspired you to do makeup and what keeps you going and ignoring all the haters? So, who inspired me to do makeup? Um, I remember when I first started my channel, I was really, really inspired by a girl here on YouTube. And her name is Sonia Castaneda. I, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. It's Essie Castaneda. She is absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know, she, she's so funny and she's so down to earth. And I really like her. And to this day, I still watch her videos. And I also love um, Dulce Candy. She is an amazing person. If you don't watch her, you have to watch her videos. She is so inspirational. She's so smart. And she's just an amazing wife and mother. So mostly those two, Dulce Candy and Essie Casaneda, have been my um, inspiration to do makeup. And then the other one was what keeps you going and ignoring all the haters. Um, thankfully, I still don't have haters or people that just come hate on my page. And I honestly hate, or I, do, I honestly don't like to use the word haters. I feel like that word is so overused. Like, for anything, everybody's like, you're such a hater. Oh my god, you're such a hater. It's such a word that it's just, it's overused. So, I don't, I don't like to call, you know, oh, I have haters because I just, I don't know. I just don't like to say that word. And like I said, I mean, I still don't get that many. And I know that as my channel grows, I know there's going to be more of those people, you know, trying to bring me down. But like I said, I really don't care. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people think about me. I can just leave that comment and go on with my day. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I keep going and I don't let things bug me, so... So that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my first Q&A. Thank you so much to everyone who participated. Uh, and maybe I'll do a Q&A in the future. I'm not sure yet. So yeah, that is everything for today's video. Um, if you guys want to see a makeup tutorial on this look, because I'm really feeling it. I don't wear red on my eyes, but I just felt inspired by this floral shirt so <laughs> that is everything i'm gonna stop before i start rambling thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye